I need to, f to feel it again. Some small piece of that magical, interconnected love bubble rush. Sex Life exposes why 45% of women will be single in 2030. The thirst always wins. Welcome to Manage for Highlights Daily. Sex Life. Some of you guys have been requesting us to do a red pill review of the Netflix series. Well, here you have it. So far, we've only watched one episode, and we will see if the rest is worth covering. I must say, the first episode shows a lot of ass and titties. So we have to block a lot of the footage for YouTube. Patreon supporters salute! You will get the original video, of course, uncensored and unfiltered. So if you like what we do and you want to experience our content to the fullest extent, support us on Patreon. This episode highlights a lot of factors that will lead to 45% of women being single in 2030 and why men are taking their talents overseas. There's a lot to unpack, but the video will be too long. So we're going to break it down in three chapters. Chapter 1. Modern women are forged in the fires of hookup culture. Chapter 2. Married life cannot compete with the hot dog carousel. Chapter 3. The sisterhood problem. Before we get into this, this red pill review contains a lot of spoilers. So you've been warned. Now it's time for us to get into this and do what we gotta do. Because we men and we... Shit. There was a time in my life when I felt free and the world was full of possibilities, especially him. Those were the days people say you don't know when you're having them, but I knew. Oh, you're killing me. And all that wildness brought us downtown almost every Saturday night to the Ludlow Street Cafe. And one equally wild lead singer, drummer, bassist after another. <laughs> Men are not dating women overseas because of female nature. Nah. Because female nature doesn't change. Men date women overseas because of the different cultures these women have. Their environment strongly influences their behavior. There's a video about an Asian Becky talking about password bros. Asian Becky. That's a combination of race and culture because she is adopted. That's why you do not bring your woman back home. Hookup culture has become the norm. It's no longer just a face in college. 50% is single, but that does not mean these people are without sex, especially the women. It's common nowadays to have Samantha from Sex and the City represented in series. Women openly sleeping around is not shocking anymore. It's pushed as empowering. Sex and the City was the front runner. And of course, the many, 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 many Red Pill review videos, podcasts, and interview videos we've highlighted on this channel prove that women are the ones that are responsible for this hookup culture and perpetuate it. We showed you the clips. They deliberately go out to hook up with these guys. The guys from the band, the star athletes, the high status dudes, the chads, the Tyrones, they have no interest in long term relationships. They will sleep with the quote unquote assholes to feel validated while friend zoning the guys that have their best interest at heart. And they do this from a very young age for a big portion of their lives. As highlighted in our previous video, these women will start changing their minds in their early 30s. This is a good 10 to 12 years of riding the hot dog carousel, racking up a body count higher than the predator in the process. This is problematic because after 10, 12 years of carefree life, without boundaries, limitations, restrictions, you cannot expect these women to suddenly become the perfect girlfriend because that is not the default settings that these modern women have. They are not raised to be girlfriends, let alone wives, let alone mothers. Take a look at this scene where they use a trapped butterfly to set the tone of the series. Oh my gosh, baby, you can't keep him like that, sweetheart. You have to let him go. It's a girl. 
Okay, all right, but but still. And she's mine. I love her. I know, sweetheart, but she can't breathe in there. And she's gonna die if you don't let her out. This is exactly how women feel about relationships, about marriage. They feel trapped because hookup culture is exempt from it. You see how they let her son play the husband? The butterfly is a girl. She's mine. I love her. We as men are trying to trap these women, control these women. That's the FNS rhetoric. That's why it doesn't make sense that these women are angry that men are leaving them alone. Men opting out. But it does make sense because women live for attention and need men's resources. They just don't want the responsibilities and the commitment. They want it all, but everything has trade-offs. And that brings us to the next chapter. And now, these are the days. Yeah. And everything is so different. Buddy. My husband is as gorgeous inside as out. Wait for me. Wait for me. I've never caught him looking at another woman. Hell, I've never even caught him in a lie. So what's the problem, right? The problem is Cooper Connolly is married to me. And before I met him, I'd been contorted into at least 73% of the positions in the Kama Sutra as should we all. There were rich guys, poor guys, tattooed guys, just flying through guys, and every other kind of bad boy deliciousness you can imagine. There you have it guys. Married life is boring. Comfort safety, routine, consistency, predictability, the same thing over and over again cannot measure up to the different flavors this woman was tasting when she was in the candy shop. But it is this comfort, safety, routine, consistency, and predictability that brings stability. Stability and security. Security is what women naturally want. It's what women need, not just for themselves, but for their children. That's why mama cannot be for the streets. How in the blue hell are women like this fit to be mothers? Check this out. So why go marry someone so straight laced? Honestly, because of them. I didn't call you back for a reason. I see a lot of women. You goddamn dog Billy! Oh. Holy! You never appreciated anything that I did. Hello? My nerves were so f***ing shot by the time I met Cooper, my heart was riding on fumes. And the stability and sanity he offered was a soothing balm to my spent, scorched soul. Do you see how at the end of the day, it's all men's fault for the drama in her life? What was her vetting process? In this episode, she sleeps with Chad on their first encounter, not even a date. She knew the guy for an hour and a half, max. She is the common denominator in all of her failed relationships. She is the problem. Women love drama. That's why they created soap operas to entertain the housewives while promoting their soap products. Did you get it yet? This is business. That's why it's all men's fault in those clips. Women love drama because they are agents of chaos, but they always need a man to catch them when they fall. Safety net. Clean up, man. Check this out. Sasha Snow is smart as shit. The only one of us who actually finished her PhD and is now a fancy psych professor at our alma mater. She's also <laughs> the wildest, most unapologetic woman you'll ever meet. Well, maybe we should get married. Then he could choke me for the next seven to 10 years. <laughs> I love that erotic asphyxiation is what it takes to finally get Sasha Snow to settle down. Uh, uh, for seven to ten years, let's not go crazy. <laughs> there is that PhD again. That PhD is feel good Kool-Aid. Go to college, rack up student loan debt, and get a useless degree that will most likely never land your dream job or career. And for the women that are successful, 
they still need a man to make the same amount of money or more so she can work part-time or retire early if she wants to because like she said seven or ten years of marriage this is an exit strategy this is how they cash out this is how they avoid the responsibilities and the pressure of being a good woman all expenses paid for doing nothing if women really wanted equality they would fight these marriage laws but no 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 they will fight for equal pay in soccer and the WNBA. Women will always follow the money. That's why you have to guard your own wallets at all times, guys. Because women do not love us like that. Now check this out. Love is a drug. That's what they say, right? Dopamine, oxytocin, adrenaline. But I can get that feeling again. Every time I close my eyes and go back to one of those nights, I feel it. It's not some elusive high I'm chasing. It's real. And it was a whole other me. It's not just sex what she's talking about. It's the whole experience of being desired, feeling wanted, the whole roller coaster ride. And because she has experienced this before, it's hard to let go. She's addicted to it. And in modern times, women don't have to leave the house to get attention. It's like Pookie in New Jack City. It keeps calling them, man. I try to kick, man. That shit just be calling me, man. It be calling me, man. I just gotta go to it. That's why tough times will reveal a woman's true colors. Jada Pinkett had an entanglement with August. She always had entanglements with guys like that before she married Will Smith who actually brought stability to Jada's life. She can enjoy married life for a while, but she will feel trapped sooner or later because of her default settings, which is for the streets. That's why women file 70 to 80% of divorces. And divorce rates always go up the moment the world is built, the country is developed, when women are not directly dependent on men for their survival. You cannot miss what you never had. I need to, to feel it again. What? Some small piece of that magical, interconnected love bubble rush. You know, it was just, it was such a high. <laughs> so girl, you wanna tell me what's really going on? different. You are different. No, I, I mean, like, I don't feel like myself. I feel like a... Like a watered-down wife-mom version of me, and I'm, a. Uh, I'm just not sure that this is who I'm supposed to be. Oh, God. You need to go back to work. Clearly have too much time on your hands. Women are collectivists. The opinion of the group i.e. sisterhood is really important and in modern times women as a collective have embraced effinist ideology when you are dating a woman you're not just dating her you're dating her and her sisterhood when i was in the trenches i would always give a girl something to talk about to her friends because i knew the influence of the sisterhood women know exactly what's going on in their group if you meet a promiscuous woman a woman that belongs to the streets there is a high chance that her group of friends also belong to the same streets. Because women always tell on themselves. They always need to tell a friend what she's doing. That's why the sisterhood must be in the same boat, on the same page. They know their best friend is cheating on her boyfriend. The sisterhood knows Tina has been sleeping with a married man. And they will cover for their girlfriends because they are covering for themselves. The collective. The thing is, we as men are not supposed to know what they're doing, but men always know. And men also talk. When we expose the foolishness of modern women, they know that we are correct because we've been in the trenches. That's why they need us to shut up because this happens. Check this out. Who the f are you? Her husband found out some information about her past. This is why women will not share their body counts 
because they know it turns us off. She was acting like a quote unquote good girl when she was dating her husband while she was clearly not. That's why they hate that question. What is your body count? The sisterhood is also responsible for keeping each other single. Check this out. Yes, now you listen to me, all right? Brad was one sexy mother. That kind of love is a fickle. It hurts, betrays, and is ultimately unsustainable. What you have with Cooper will go the distance. I know, I know it in my cells. I know it in my soul. Good. This advice is only given to a small group of guys because in this case, Billy's husband is not an average Joe. Most women would love to have a husband looking like him, along with the money and status that he brings. The sisterhood will reject most of the guys because women are only attracted to the top 10, top 20% of guys. They will give their blessing to the Chads and Tyrones. However, in this case, these women are over the hill. This actress is in her early 40s. That's why these women know Chad and Tyrone are not sustainable. Once again, another series about a bunch of 40 year old children that just cannot leave that hot dog carousel alone. The foolishness. We're dealing with a crop of women that are clueless about long term relationships, are not interested in long term relationships until it's wall time or need a bailout and rack up all kinds of mental health issues and traumas that make them unsuitable for relationships in the process. So it is no surprise that the percentage of singles will only increase in the near future. So buckle up, Patreon supporters salute! Manosphere, we working. Protect yourself at all times. This video has officially been highlighted.